All right, today we're going to talk about inequalities in one triangle. Section 5.5 also talks about indirect proof. I'm not going to teach that this year, so you can go ahead and cross that off. So first, our um, objective is to apply inequalities in one triangle. So here we have some theorems down here. Um, if we have a triangle that, uh, in a triangle, the larger angle is opposite of the longer side. So if I have this triangle here and I'm told that AB is the biggest, so I'm going to put biggest. AC is the medium sized. And BC is considered the smallest. So what we can say then is that a opposite of the big side is going to be the big angle. So C is going to be the big angle. So then my conclusion is angle C is the biggest. Now let's take a look at the medium side is across from the medium size angle. So angle C is bigger than angle B, which is bigger than the last one which is angle A. Okay? And the, uh, the next theorem is like this one, except for it's in reverse. So in a triangle, the longer side is opposite the larger angle. So if I'm told that angle Z is the biggest, so I'm going to put B for big, and angle Y is the medium, so I'm going to put M for, for medium, and I'm going to angle X is the smallest, so I'm going to put S for small. So across from the biggest angle is XZ. So XZ is my biggest side. And across from my medium-sized angle is XZ. Um, I made a mistake here. Sorry about that. This should have been XY. There we go. Okay, so across from the medium angle is the medium side, which is XZ. And across from the smallest angle is the smallest side, which is YZ. Okay? Now we're going to talk about the, the triangle inequality theorem, and here it is. And I'm going to show you why this is true on the next page. So go ahead and pause it and copy this down and look at the next page for why this is true. So the sum of any two lengths of a triangle is greater than the third side. So in any triangle, if you add up two sides, it's going to be greater than the third side here. And that's true for all of them. So let's take a look at the next page and we'll do some examples on this. We can first of all go ahead and cross out number four. We're not going to do that. So now let's talk about why is the triangle inequality theorem true? Okay, and I'm going to show you an example of why it's true. So is it possible to draw a triangle with side lengths of 5 inches, 2 inches, and 2 inches? Every time I do this, prob do this example in class, my students always say, yes, of course you can draw a triangle that's 5, 2, and 2. So then I ask them to actually show me. So I'm going to draw a 5-inch length here. There's five inches, or sorry, yeah, five inches from here to here. Now we're going to try and connect it with a two inch and a two inch. So um, I'm going to make it, make it really thin, see if it'll work. There's two inches, so this is two inches. And here's two inches. And if you can see here, I can't connect them. There's no way that these two inch lines are going to connect. They're just going to collapse down. It's impossible. I cannot draw a triangle that has side lengths of five, two, and two. It's impossible. So let's try this next one. Is it possible to draw a triangle with side lengths of five, three, and two? Okay, so now we're getting a little bit more here. So let's draw a five inch length from here to here is five inches. And now I'm going to draw a two inch length. Okay. And I'm going to draw a three inch length. Ooh, it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good here. But wait a second. Oh, no, it's not quite reaching. Not quite. And what's going to happen is because this is two inches and this is three inches, and the bottom one here is five inches, 
it's just going to go collapse down and it's not ever going to touch each other until those two inches and three inches are flat down against the five inch and it's never going to quite work. So this is why the triangle inequality theorem down here has to be true. Okay. So let's, let me um, show you what are some possible side lengths of the third side if we have the first two sides are 11 and 3. The book would have you do three different things this way, but it's super simple. I'm going to show you a really easy way. Here's the easy way to do it, okay? You're going to subtract the two side lengths here, and you don't want a negative. No negatives. Um, instead of doing a 3 minus 11, which would give us a negative 8, we want instead to do an 11 minus 3, so that'll give us a positive 8. Okay? And then you're going to do less than the third side, less than them added together. Okay? So 11 minus 3 is less than the third side. What's my third side? I don't know. I'm going to make it an X because that's what I'm trying to find. Is less than adding them 11 plus 3. So this is going to be 8 is less than X is less than 14. So now then my third side can be anywhere between 8 and 14 inches. That's allowed. As soon as it hits 8, 8 is not allowed. 14 is not allowed. But 8.1, sure. 8.2, sure. 13.9, um, absolutely. 10, fine. As soon as I get to 7.9, not allowed. It's going to have a problem like we had up here. Okay? So these are my allowed side lengths if I have two of the sides being 11 and 3. So I subtract them on one side and add them on the other and make it less than less than. This is a lot easier to do than figuring out three separate ones. Okay, so instead when you're doing these problems, go ahead and do it this way here. Much simpler. Okay, thanks for watching.